Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Starting from the Mate 60 series, Huawei gradually stopped mentioning the performance of chips when releasing new phones. This not only means that Huawei has begun to focus on mobile phone technology innovation, but also means that Huawei believes that the focus is no longer on the chip field. However, even so, the outside world is still very curious about the chip situation of Huawei's flagship mobile phones. When the Mate 60 was released, many people were speculating whether the Kirin 9000's chip reached the 7 nanometers level. When the Pura 70 series was released, many people were speculating whether the Kirin 9010 chip had a 5 nanometers process level. However, just recently, Huawei's Zhong Pingan officially stated and revealed an important piece of information. Just recently, when asked about Huawei's chip situation, Huawei's executive chairman Zhong Pingan directly stated that China would definitely not get 3 nanometers or 5 nanometers, and it would be very good if China could solve 7 nanometers. China's semiconductor development of 7 nanometers is sufficient, and system architecture innovation should be emphasized. This statement actually contains a lot of information. On the one hand, it reveals the possible manufacturing process of Huawei's previously highly anticipated Kirin 9000's chip and Kirin 9010 chip. On the other hand, it also explains why Huawei's Kirin chip performs better than Qualcomm chips with the same manufacturing process. Judging from this statement, Huawei's Kirin chip should not have reached the 5 nanometers level, and it is very likely that it is a foundry level of about 7 nanometers process. At the same time, in Huawei's view, it is very difficult for domestic chip foundry processes to break through the 5 nanometers level in a short period of time, and it is very likely that 7 nanometers will be the main process in the next period of time. Huawei believes that it is necessary to pay attention to system architecture innovation now, which is actually to improve the performance of chips from other aspects besides chip manufacturing process. This can actually be seen from the Kirin chip recently released by Huawei High Silicon. According to foreign media reports, the transistor distribution in the Kirin 9000's chip is not only very dense, but also very neatly arranged. From this point of view, the outstanding performance of Kirin chips is likely due to innovations in system architecture, which makes the cooperation between Hongmeng system and Kirin chips closer. Through the combination of software and hardware and the influence of transistor distribution and arrangement, the performance of the chip itself exceeds the process level. In fact, Huawei's statement also reflects Huawei's understanding and recognition of the development of the current chip semiconductor industry chain. At present, China's chip manufacturing process technology should basically have reached the 7 nanometers level, and 7 nanometers process chips can be mass produced. Judging from the technical development news revealed by SMIC before, this point is also very true. However, although SMIC is accelerating the research and development of 5 nanometers process technology, it is still difficult to achieve a breakthrough in 5 nanometers process due to the influence of high-end lithography equipment. It is not difficult to see from the current situation that the United States is continuing to increase export control bans on semiconductor equipment, especially lithography machines, and the difficulty of obtaining advanced EUV lithography machines is increasing. However, Major universities and technology companies in China 
are also accelerating the development of domestic EUV lithography machines. The establishment of the National Semiconductor Industry Development Phase 3 Foundation, not long ago, has further promoted the improvement of the technical level of the domestic chip semiconductor industry chain. Under such circumstances, the breakthrough of domestic semiconductor equipment is accelerating, and it is expected that there will be hope to complete domestic substitution in the near future. Judging from the current development of China's core, the breakthrough of advanced process chips is not urgent. After all, mature process chips have a wider range of applications, and 28 nanometers is also the best balance between performance and cost this time. The processes below are actually equivalent processes after optimization calculation. The most important thing is that for smartphones, the current demand for performance can basically be met with 7 nanometers. This can also be seen from the performance of Huawei's Mate 60 series and Pura 70 series mobile phones equipped with 7 nanometers process. As long as the optimization and the software and hardware coordination between the chip and the system are done well, it can actually meet the normal use needs of users. There is no doubt that Huawei has basically solved the supply chain problem of mobile phone chips. Next, it only needs to wait for Huawei's chip supply chain to develop steadily and its production capacity to continue to expand. The shipment volume of Huawei mobile phones will also gradually increase. After that, there is no need to worry about Huawei's lack of chips to use and the problem of difficulty in buying Huawei mobile phones. In fact, the development of the domestic mobile phone market after entering 2024 can also be seen. Apple which has been pursuing advanced process chips in recent years, has been affected by the lack of sufficient innovation and other factors. The recognition of iPhone phones among consumers has continued to decline, and the shipment volume of mobile phones in the first quarter of 2024 also fell by 24%. On the contrary, Although the chip process of Huawei's new phone is somewhat behind the international top level, the chip performance of Huawei's new phone can fully meet user needs. In addition, the endless innovations and new technologies in Huawei's new phone have also made it highly recognized and satisfied by consumers.